tonight. Prison guard Mark Williams. I will tell the truth. Confesses his most embarrassing secrets to his friends and family. Have you ever worn women's underwear? The building tension could ultimately cause him. Hello, Mark. How you doing? I'm excellent, buddy. Nice to see you. So, are you gonna be able to tell the truth in front of all of America tonight? I guys, will tonight. Guys, guys, I will tell the truth for all America. Guys, get it. Oh, 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 just give it a gander. Good to see. You. Oh, my God. Very good. Mark, as you know, there are six levels of questioning. The further you go, the harder the questions get. But as you can see, the more money you can win. Okay. You can quit at any time, take the money. But once you hear a question, of course, it's a quiz script. This whole you point. Are lying, I always keep once, saying this. Game is over. You lose everything. You knew that though, didn't you? I knew that. Okay, good. Mark, you're not only here telling the truth in front of all of America, but you are also telling it in front of your family and friends. Let's by, the way, by the way, mods, 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 is, is, uh, um, is it ready or not? See who's come here to hear you tell the truth. <laughs> like, like whenever I want to, can I just my open up some moments and it's, it's ready to go again? Hello, my name is Brandon. I'm Mark's friend for 18 years. Hi, my name's Celine, and I've also known Mark for 18 years. My name is Reggie Rogers, and I'm Mark's cousin. Hi, I'm Pauline Moore, and I've known Mark since high school. Hi, my name is Reggie. I've known Mark for about 18 years. I'm his friend. Hey, everybody. That's it. Great okay. look at friends. Yeah, we know how this okay, goes. Okay, Mark. Though. Level one has six Guys, guys, it, it always starts easy, and though. all six. Truthfully, you win $10,000. That's how we start. Okay. Okay, remember, if you ever concerned about the answers you gave on That's your polygraph cool exam, like you can change them tonight. Just let me know. It's like texture. Okay. What is that? I understand you work at a corrections officer? Is that right. right, I'm a correctional peace officer. It's dangerous work, yeah. and I appreciate it. <laughs> oh, no. You think the law is the same for Velvet. everybody? Yeah, pretty much, absolutely, yeah, the law's the same. Okay. Absolutely. Oh, no. I believe in our justice system. Question one. Have you ever used your job as a corrections officer to avoid being cited for a traffic violation? Jeez, I mean, dude. No shit. Yes. <laughs> that answer is true. That's one that's right. Five more to go. I don't think it's a good thing, but it's, it's so common, though. Listen, if you can't get off on a speeding ticket, there's no hope for the rest of us. <laughs> So you believe you have open communication with your wife, Nora? Absolutely. Uh -oh. Is that true, Nora? Already? He tries very hard. <laughs> Question two? Question two. Did you ever tell your wife you had to work late when, in fact, you were doing something else? Something else? Yes. That answer is... OK. He could just answer without making that face. Now True. it's weird. Oh, well, now That's it's weird. Then. Four more $10,000. You know how sometimes after work, the guys, you know, want to hang out, go, go get a drink, go get sure. a bite to eat. Yeah. Maybe I told her I was going to be home, you know, early, and I didn't. So sometimes that happens. All right, that's two. Four more $10,000. <sighs> Now he's always, been married, he, you said, uh, nine or so years? Something yeah, like ten that. years. Going on ten years. Oh, oh here it comes. Ten years. Would you say that you and Nora have each other's back? I think so. Yeah. You know it's coming when yeah. he, he always yeah. jumps, he jumps there so early. Question three. Have you ever lied to Nora about how her butt looks in a pair of pants? <laughs> yes, who cares? Th these are whatever, though. <laughs> yes. Oh. <laughs> that answer is. How's this? I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm not gonna go home. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Content family, okay. <laughs> guys, 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 I, I have to rewind, but not for what you think. Just. This is what you need. Before we go on, you guys are such good Move sports. On. I'm so glad you're here. You see that button in front of you. If there's a question you don't want to hear the answer to for whatever reason, yeah. get that button. You can use it once. We'll replace it. I just want to see his face. Okay? So keep it standing by and ready. I'll remind you about it. 
You got three truthful answers, three more, $10,000. It's not bad. Three but... more. That's it. All right, let's go. So, you've got a beautiful wife. Yeah, I do. Do you splurge on your wife? Guys, I don't, I don't want to be weird, okay? And I, want, I don't want to objectify or rate, rate a woman's Botox. It's weird. I, I'm not doing that. Yes. You like to do that? I like to shop for her. Question four. Have you ever told your wife, Nora, that a piece of jewelry you bought for her was more expensive than it really was? Oh. I mean, for sure. So what, though? Yes. <laughs> that answer is... Why is she making that face, though? True. There we go. That's four truthful answers. Two more $10,000. Can I explain on that one? I guess we're going to have to. I mean, well, you know how sometimes, you know, you buy a wife, you know, you, you had some jewelry or something, and, you know, you, you may have just, like, say it costs a little more than what it did just to, you know, make her, you know, feel better, like it was worthwhile. So hopefully, maybe that evening oh, thing stop, be stop, all right. Stop, stop, stop. You know oh, what I mean? Oh, God. <laughs> Why, why do they talk so much after? Why, though? I feel, I feel you. Mark, they what always makes do it. Good? You know, shopping, driving, uh, listening to music, uh, mm -hmm. shopping for my wife. Uh, nice clothes? Nice clothes. You know, I yeah. love, yeah, you know. You're a sharp dresser. Oh, why, why, thank you, thank you. You're welcome. Question five Have you ever worn women's underwear? <laughs> Mark? Yes. Yes, I have. <laughs> okay. Base answer is true. Okay. Five, two, four, don't don't talk. More, ten, five, He's going to do it. Then. Okay. He's going to do it, isn't he? He's going he's gonna... to. Yes, Mark. Now, let me tell you what happened. Oh, tell me what happened. Comes. Because I know that the prisoners in the correctional place are going to so, want to know all so about it. Everybody knows. Oh! <laughs> okay, here's the situation. You know how sometimes you don't have, you know, maybe your underwear is not clean. Right. Oh, no. There you go. This particular day, I was out of underwear, and I tried on a pair of Noah shorts just to get me through for a couple of hours. <laughs> for shorts. <laughs> yeah, until they got through. I didn't have any clean underwear, so I didn't have anything. So I put I put them on. Uh, Sweet. <laughs> has Brandon ever tried on your underwear or shorts? No. Yes, he has. Oh! oh. oh. What oh. the fuck? This is... Okay, See? the whole show See? is weird. Yeah. What the fuck is happening? Yeah. See? <laughs> Let's move on. <laughs> Here's the deal. Questions I've asked you have been fun, a little flirty, a little revealing, but not too deep. Okay? Just want you to realize that they will get deeper and it's gonna happen right now. Oh, not that, okay? yes, ruined. You haven't won any uh, money, but if you wanna leave right now, you can leave right now. Okay. If it's just gonna be too uncomfortable, we can all call it a lovely day and, yeah. and go home. I, I kinda wish you stalled a little bit here to make the laugh because now oh. he's gonna, now he's gonna so, ruin it. He's gonna fuck would it all like up. like question six? Give it to me. Okay. Before we get to it, what kind of relationship do you have with your first wife? Um, not, not so great relationship, uh, how it ended up, but, you no. know, hey, you live and you learn, you know, it's pretty young then. For $10,000, question six, since you have been remarried, have you ever secretly contacted your ex-wife Giselle without Nora's knowledge? <laughs> Continues. But not too deep. Okay. We can all me. Okay. Thank you. Um before we get to it, what kind of relationship do you have with your you first relationship? Young then. For been remarried, have you ever secretly contacted your ex-wife Giselle without Nora's knowledge? They say secretly, that's so vague though. Like something can be a secret without being a secret on purpose. No! That answer is... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, my goodness. 
true. Congratulations. Just like ten thousand dollars. Well done. Okay, I got a scare from here. Yeah. Uh, we couldn't oh, remember yeah. what you did. Yeah. Woo! Ten thousand dollars. <laughs> You guys rolling actually. Hold up. Your money. Now you're faced with a decision. You know what the decision is. You can walk Don't away now with ten thousand dollars. As I told you, it gets more personal. You only have to answer five more truthful questions to get to twenty-five thousand dollars. But that's difficult to do. He's rolling. All he has to do now is One stop mistake. talking when One lie just a bad question. Your ten thousand dollars is gone. So, family and friends have known you a long time. Go on for it. Go on for it. Guys, guys, I don't want to spoil it, but I think they get contestants, right? And they and they scat them out, and the 500 k answer or question is always really, really weird. I got my eye on the it's prize like, uh, right there. Not weird, weird, like actually fucking weird. I'm pretty sure they don't. They probably don't even let them compete unless it's really, really bad. I would assume you're a corrections officer, and I can only imagine how difficult that is. What's the best part of being a corrections officer? I find there's a lot of interesting stories. You know, a lot of it's a society within a society. Uh, it is dangerous, but I, you know, I just try to just be myself and go home safe, and that's what it's about. One of them, one fun. of them was, did you hire a hitman Question to kill seven. your ex-husband? What the fuck? Have you ever used your handcuffs for a purpose other than they were intended? <laughs> I, I would, I would hope so. We want to know this question. I want to know. <laughs> we want to know. No. Oh. Oh. That answer is true. That's seven. Seven truthful. You need four more to make twenty-five thousand right. dollars. What do you like to do for fun? Um. I like to spend time with Nora and the kids. No fun. Question eight. Have you ever thought your wife was boring? I mean, I mean, he already answered that last question. Ooh. Careful, oh. Mark. Tell the truth. Yeah, let's, let's be honest. Dang. Yes. Yes. That answer is true. That's eight. Three more. I'm sure at a time that, you know, some kind of adventurous and sometimes no. sometimes reserved. And St you know, dude. I'm sure a time or two I may have thought. Have you ever thought your wife was born? I'm sure at a time or two. Right? Now next next question. <laughs> <laughs> Are you a trusting person, Mark? I think so. Question nine. Have you ever asked someone to follow your ex-wife without her knowledge? <laughs> you. Have you ever asked someone to follow your ex-wife without her knowledge? Guys, guys, I know what I'm doing, guys. We've watched like 50 episodes. I know exactly what I'm doing with the skips. I know, I know ex please stop it. Come on, man. Was it a hard question? Because it's just weird and he's gonna say yes. Yes, I have. What? But what? That answer is... <sighs> true. That's nine truthful answers, Mark. You're doing great. You need two more to get to $25,000. I mean, isn't that pretty bad, huh? The last thing I'm gonna do is judge you, Mark. <sighs> do you like what you do for a living? Yeah. Question 10. Are you ever embarrassed to tell people you're a corrections officer? Wait. Huh? Oh. And, and, and why is the crowd reacting that way? That's just weird. Yes. That answer is... Really? 
You know, you know what, Madam Vega Chat? I'm, pre I'm pretty sure people could make an argument that they've been embarrassed once or twice for whatever reason, even with good jobs. Yeah. That's fine. You're on a roll. You are. Here comes a tough one. That's 10. Answer one more truthfully, and you win $25,000. Depends who it is. Big money. If you can. Big money, baby. But when you get to the money question, they're always a little tougher. You're prepared? I'm prepared. Okay. Do you like to travel? Yeah, I like to travel. We've traveled a few times. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Vegas. 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 <laughs> Woo! Uh oh, wait a minute. Question 11 for $25,000. <laughs> Have you ever done anything in Las Vegas oh. you don't want your wife to know about? Much <laughs> not. Oh, The moment of truth. You win $25,000. Big money. Always a little travel. For $25,000. You don't want your wife to know about. It could be a various reason. It could be various reasons, though. Yes. This is not explain anymore, That Sean. answer is... X-U-C-L. True. Yes! $25,000! 25000 $25,000! Actually, say it. Say it. $25,000 is yours, I'm happy. Guys, guys, I feel like the friends know what the wife doesn't because she's boring. If you've done that, that's 11 truthful answers. She probably didn't want to be part of that's it. That's more than I, halfway I to $500,000. I'm not going to make assumptions, but... To get to the next level, Mark... It is what it is. It's a big jump in money. And it's not a lot of questions. You only have to be truthful through four more questions. Four more questions, four times the money. It goes from $25,000 to $100,000. So, Mark, what are we doing? Come on, man. Come on, let's go. Oh, don't take the money. We're the right, man. We're the right. Well, like I said, I got my eye on that half million, so we got to ride this thing all the way out. So I'm going for the 100,000. Is it hard work being a corrections officer? Um. Yes, it is. Can be. Question 12. It's gonna be easy one, it's gonna be easy. Have you done anything illegal in the last six weeks? Always yes, sir. Guys, this is, this is so easy. Guys, it is so easy. Jaywalking is illegal. I, 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 there's so many things that are illegal that are kind of like, I, oh, I'm not gonna downplay it, okay? I'm actually gonna stop talking now. Like, let, let's just, is this watch the show? No. I have not. That answer is... We're all good. We're, we're all good. <laughs> False. <laughs> This question scared me, Mark. Not that I thought you committed any big crime, but this scared me. Unfortunately, Mark, when asked this question on your polygraph, polygraph determined that you were being deceptive. Why do you think it came up as a false? Have you done anything illegal in the because last you, 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 uh, The answer was fine. I have you no, just I, I'm, I'm, I'm totally blown away. Mark, I'm so sorry there's no money for you he today. Wow. Himself too much really money, sorry right. about that. Really sorry, my friend. Wow. So, no money for Mark. But I can tell you this, we have somebody else ready wait, to fill wait. this chair. And they line them up back to back. Closer. Not at all, just a little chilly. Oh, your hands are ice cold. Are you nervous? Uh, not at all, no. Not at all, just a little chilly. Yes. So, are you going to be able to tell the truth in front of all of America tonight? I'll try. 
<laughs> April, there are six levels of questioning. She's gonna and the further you go, the harder the questions she's gonna are. Fuck but it up, uh. as you can see, the more money there is for you to win. Guys, yeah, this you is an episode. Win anytime, take the money if you've earned it. But once you hear it, just just, just go, thing. lady. You're also, I'm April's mom, Nancy. Okay, mom. I'm Stacy, April's best friend. Best friend. I'm Hans, April's boyfriend. Ooh. John, April's friend. John, uh, April's friend. Welcome to all of you. Glad to have you here. Are you ready for this? Oh yeah. Are you ready, April? Wait. Um, let's do it. All Come long on. hair. Okay. Bring it on. Let's do it. Yep. Level one has six questions. Answer all six of those wait, questions. Wait, 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 there's a reason why they brought two friends. Wait a minute. Truthfully, you win ten thousand dollars. Oh, dude, this, this Remember, is. Remember, if you're this ever is so rigged from the beginning, dude. You gave on your polygraph exam. Jesus. You're second guessing, and you're thinking differently now. You can change your answers tonight. All right. Before we get going with the first question, let's find out a little bit more about you. You grew up with six kids in your family, is that right? Yes. I have a buddy who comes from a family of six. He said when food went on the table, you took care of yourself first because you never knew when the brothers or somebody Well, actually, it's more taking it from my dad than my brothers. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> question one. Uh, yeah, yeah. Have you ever stolen a tip from a table while eating at a restaurant? Yeah, that's just weird, though. That is just, that is just, that's actually just really weird. No. Good. That answer is true. I knew that one. That's one truthful answer. Five more, and you won ten thousand dollars. You would be surprised. I generally think, based on how how easy it is, way more people do it. It's actually crazy. The, the, there's a place where, where I live, like a like a fast food, and under the, under the like like the cashier's fucking thing, like like the box, they put, they, they put all the tip right there, right under, and th I've seen a lot of people in line right while I was in line just yoink. They would just like oh. they would turn around and they would just your sweep it. Trust it. you? I've seen it happen pretty I often. I think they do trust me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you friends? Do you trust her? Sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Question two. Yeah, they caught him. Have you though. ever stolen anything from a friend? No. Oh, that, that okay. answer is true. You got two right, two truthful answers, four more, $10,000. Was your family pretty religious growing up? Very religious. Damn. We went to church. Th that's actually impressive, though. Church all the time. My father was a minister. Grew up in the church. Did the whole Easter play thing. So it's fun. I had a good time. Do you watch a lot of TV? Uh, when I can, yeah. Guys, elementary school, dude. Did did everybody yoinks a bunch of shit? Then? Did fucking did pen pencils happen? Uh, okay, maybe I should stop talking. I understand that you have a tattoo. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I do. Can you tell me about it? I have a Star Trek symbol on the back of my neck. Are you a Trek? Wait, wait. Get, I am. Yeah, small story, small story chat. Yeah, very, very, very quick, okay. When I was in elementary school chat at fifth grade, okay, we had Game Boy DS, and um, listen, listen. I had never done this before, okay, but I yoinked somebody's car ridge, okay, and then, and then after, after recess, I was like, dude, dude, where's my Pokemon car ridge, man? And I helped them find it for the rest of the day, right? And I had it the whole time. And I felt so guilty about it, dude. I felt so guilty. I just put it in, in his desk, right? And I was like, oh, dude, maybe you should check your desk one more time. And then he found it. I, 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 couldn't, um. I, I couldn't do it. <laughs> Can we see it? I, I, I couldn't do yeah. it. I couldn't do it. Listen, he, he got it back. Okay, wow. whatever, dude. It's not justified, great. but still. Thank you. Question three, I'm not gonna ask if that's okay. That is fine, let's just go on to four. No, no, we're going to ask question three. Oh, oh. I'm just not gonna ask it. We have a special guest to ask this question. I think you'll appreciate who the special sure, guest I've is. I've learned it. You may recognize this. <laughs> huh? Ladies and gentlemen, Michelle Nichols, you may know as Commander Uhura from A Four Star Trek. Thank you for coming to the party. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh -huh. go to us. Question three. Would you rather go to a Star Trek convention than go to church? Oh. 
A what? Yes! Yeah. <laughs> that answer is... Oh golly, cheese and crackers! True. We <laughs> win the top one! That's a tough one. Gee whiz, gee whiz. Thank you very much. Thank, thank, thank you. Michelle Nichols, star of Star Trek. A thrill for little April over here. But mom, you were sort of the head of the religious family Jeez, over there. How do you Louise. feel knowing that she'd much rather go to a Star Trek convention than church? I'll pray for her. <laughs> hey, good news is three truthful answers on your way to $10,000. Question four. Do you believe it's morally wrong for a Christian to drink heavily? Yes. That answer is... Hmm? True. Have you ever consumed so much alcohol you couldn't remember where you were? <laughs> so much alcohol you couldn't remember where you were. That answer is... Baby. True. Yeah. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> chat, guys, I said this over before, chat, guys, guys, for TwitchCon Germany, okay? Guys, I got so drunk at the club with fucking uh, courage, okay? That I, I woke up naked in the shower in fetal position the next day. I had no idea what I was doing there. Mom doesn't love me anymore. <laughs> That's five truthful answers. One more, ten thousand right, dollars. But do it. you're laughing and saying mom doesn't love me anymore. And as I look over, mom, you do look a little upset. That that was While like a, you that was a bad No effort. money yet. You can still stop if you want. I know. This is your ten thousand okay. dollar moment of truth. Baby. All right. Now one beer. Question six. Have you ever been drunk at work? No shot. No. That answer is... True. April, we won ten thousand dollars. That was easy. Yeah. Guess what? You have ten thousand dollars. That money's yours to keep, but the only way. You yeah, she's boring, but she probably has some really bad secrets up top. That's probably why they, they scouted her. Trust me, guys. You're gonna keep it as if you walk game away. Game show scouts so are I want crazy. You to think about that. Because if the next question is a lie, you've just lost $10,000. So will you stay and play and try to earn $25,000, or are you going to leave? We've already heard a couple that were pretty tough. Yeah. Your Real mother's here. Reality TV and game show town scouts are fucking nuts. Boyfriend, the rest of the band, <laughs> everybody's here. Are you going to walk away with $10,000, or do you want to stay and try to go for $25,000? Go for it. Hey, Mom, do you think Hans and April make a cute couple? Yeah, I like oh, Hans, there, but I Here it comes. I, you know, listen, it ha guys, it Question has to happen. Question seven. Have you ever lied to your parents about living with a man? Oh, that's... 
Oh, she's getting off the hook kind of easy, though. Yes. That answer is... True. Yeah, Mr. Cowan, <laughs> okay, you survived that question. You got seven truthful, four more, $25,000. But remember, with every question, you're risking the 10000 you have. I'm not going to ask you question eight. Oh, boy. It's going to be asked guest. by your boyfriend, Hans. Oh, <sighs> Hans, are you ready? I'm ready. Oh, he knows. Question eight. Have you ever regretted moving in with me? Because these are easy questions. Depending on what's your, what's your explanations, you can get out of these really easy. They're not like no. black on the white bad. Oh, damn. That answer is... True. You're a model, right? Yes. How's the modeling coming along? It's good. It's a difficult business, I would imagine. Really competitive. Yes. He's gonna, he's so gonna go there, isn't he? Question nine. Yep, would you sleep with someone if you knew it could boost your career? <laughs> would you sleep with someone if you knew it could boost your career. She's gonna say yes, and next, next question is gonna be if she already done it, and both yes. No. That answer is... True. Okay. You're okay. doing great. Nine truthful answers. They're getting a little tough. Guys, this this is usually a combo question. Tougher. You have Trust ten thousand dollars. Don't forget that. It's your yes. money if you want it. Yes. Just wait. All you got to do is walk away. Two more truthful answers though, and you'll have twenty-five thousand dollars. Is it worth it? Knowing the questions will be more personal. You want to stop now, or do you want to go? Going right. <laughs> What do you look for in a guy? I mean, you certainly see what you look for in this guy, but in general, as a single woman, what's your style? Oh, your I don't clothes. like, you know, the trendy clubbing. I, I can't do that. So, no. you know, just as, as long as they're, you know, good to me and nice, and I'm drama free, and I like the guys to be too. Question ten. Boring. Okay. Have you ever? dated someone you are not attracted to because he had money. Yes. Oh. That answer is oh. true. Everybody does it. Ten truthful answers. You're now at the $25,000 moment of truth. Hmm? I'm looking at question 11 here. Might be very easy for you. It also could be much more difficult than 10. You want the question? Question 11. Have you ever been paid for sex? No shot, right? Yes. That answer is... 
true. Congratulations, you've won $25,000. Okay. I need to explain this. I was married. Did I take it to... I was unhappy. The only reason you sleep with your husband when you're unhappy with them is because they pay the bills. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's so true. You have a lot of money in your pocket, figuratively, right now, $25,000. If we move on to the next question, and you lie. Wait, wait I'm, I'm, I, I'm so confused. How was she doing so well before this? All the questions, she was all kind of balling out, and then she says something so morally bankrupt. I, you lose $25,000. So, April, what do you want to do? What? I'm so sorry. <laughs> Congratulations, you've won twenty-five thousand. You made it through eleven questions truthfully, and you've won twenty-five thousand dollars. You guys, you want to congratulate me again? It's going to be a party for them. April Eaton is a winner. $25,000 is hers to keep all the time we have for today. Thank you for being here. This is the moment of truth. We'll see you next time. Next week, former Navy pilot... Uh, guys, guys, I know that this would destroy the show, okay? But if your contestant goes for content on purpose and they go crazy mode and it's, it's very good for the episode and, and it's airing, they should say that they lost, but they should still give them the money. That, that'd be kind of that that'd be kind of that'd be kind of sick though, because a lot uh, this is like oh dude, they don't get to the con questions, they go with the money and it's over. It's kind of like oh okay, I get it. It's the point of the game show, but still like some of the contestants were full of content and they got zero bucks and they, and they, they kind of carried the show. You know, I don't know who knows.